clean space post deep clean. I also just put the Christmas tree away. Clean sheets too, literally the best feeling. We're having Austin and Kayla over for dinner and tomorrow night we're making a pasta dish for New Year's Eve. So um, I wanted to have one loaf for a pasta dish to have with the pasta and then one loaf to give to them. It's a little like a gift, I don't know. Anytime I have a guest over, I like to give them something, so. I just got a fresh pair of Reeboks because my last ones literally had holes in the backs. So even I was talking to my sisters and my mom and like they would call me out if I was trying to get a new pair before I needed them. And they were both, they were all like, you need to throw those away ASAP. So I got these and I like them. I think they're called the princess. I just like classic Reeboks for white shoes. I'm not a big Adidas girl. Um, I'm not a big, what's the other brand? Like whatever Air Force One, Nike. I just like these. The sunset is so pretty. I just got home from yoga and I'm about to shower if you can hear it in the background. Hi guys. Okay, so I never really talked to the camera to my TikTok, um, but I have become quite the host this year. I love hosting. And so I figured it would be kind of fun to go through my top three tips for hosting. I'm having some friends over for dinner tonight um, and I'm prepping, so I figured I would just go through. So. Number one is I love to have a gift for whoever I'm hosting um, for them to take home. Um, it's just a little extra fun touch. So I baked two loaves of bread today. This is the one that I packaged up for my friends, um, but this is another one so that you can see. They're just two loaves of sourdough. Um, and yeah, next is set the menu ahead of time. Um, so you can like just send it off to your whoever you're hosting and get any dietary restrictions, any things like that, um, and set the drink menu ahead of time. So for example, tonight we are having Chilean sea bass with slow roasted Japanese sweet potatoes, steamed broccoli, a Caesar salad, and I think that's it. And then we're doing a red wine, which usually I would pair white wine with fish, but given that it's sea bass, which is like a much more dense fish, um, and it's winter. I'm actually doing a French red, which will just be lighter in nature. Um, I don't know the name or I don't know how to pronounce the name of it. So that's it. Um, and the third and final tip is wear a monochromatic look, um, slick your hair back because no one wants hair in your food. So always have your hair up monochromatic look because then you just naturally put more, look more put together, but you stay comfy and cozy and wear an apron so that you can wipe on the apron and you don't get your clothes dirty. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, bon appetit. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary, I post fashion beauty and health and wellness, and health and wellness videos. Um, happy Friday, it is the day before New Year's Eve. I'm doing my skincare right now before I go to bed, but um, we had such a great day. I um, just did some work and then I baked two loaves of bread this afternoon you guys saw that and then um i went to yoga at 3 45. that's kind of weird i don't know um there's like a little bit of muck I think i'm gonna wash my face again there's a little bit of muck on my um on the cotton pad and that always weirds me out. Like, if there's stuff on the cotton pad, I'm not gonna like, let it get on my face. I'm using the um, Tammy Fender face wash. But anyways, I went to yoga at 3.45 and it was genuinely, I think the hottest class I've ever been to. It was insane. And then after yoga, um, I came home and just like, showered and all of that jazz and then started prepping dinner um because we have Blake's brother and his girlfriend over um so they came at like 6 15. we ate at like 6 45 or so and it was so yummy um i made sea bath potatoes broccoli and the Caesar salad. Um, it was so good. And 
And then they just left. It's almost nine. And yeah, we just had a really nice night, um, a really good dinner, good company. And yeah, I love just like, I love hosting dinners. Um, and I honestly love doing an early dinner. Like lately I've been loving eating at like 6.30 or so because usually I feel like Blake and I eat so much later than that. And it's just really nice to be able to eat early. Also my face, I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see, do you see all that? I think it's a heat rash from how hot it was in the yoga class. So I'm actually gonna put some rose water on it right now, um, just to help calm that. But anyways, um, it's just nice eating early. And like, I know that 6.30 or whatever doesn't seem early, but I feel like we always eat so late that it's early to us. Vintner Star, of course. And I think this will help to soothe whatever heat thing I've got going on too. Um, but for New Year's, we don't have that many plans. I'm going to a New Year's Eve yoga class tomorrow with Kate um, at Yoga 2.0. It's like a flow and then um, intention setting. So I'm really excited about that. And then, I'm gonna go to the last of my La Roche Posay Sisoplast balm. Um, I have another one coming, but it's literally sold out everywhere, you guys. Um, so I'm literally like trying to get the last drops of this, which is making me really sad because I like need it for my skin tonight. Oh, there we go. Um, but anyways, so we're going to that. We'll go get coffee before. And then tomorrow night, I was like so all over the place where I was gonna have a pasta and pajamas party. But then I realized that I only had like three people I wanted to be there. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm not doing that. Um, I feel like that's my issue is like, I'm always like, oh my God, I wanna have a party, but I don't. I keep my circle very tight and I don't really like large crowds. That makes it sound like I like hate that stuff a lot more than I do. I mostly just like, I don't know. I like hanging out with like small groups of people. Also, this is hydrocortisone cream and I'm putting it on just any marks that I have. because it really helps them lose their redness. Fun fact. Um, my sister taught me that hack when I was home. But, um, so anyways, the party plan kind of went out the window and now I'm not really sure. It's just Laneige. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I mean, like, and I are kind of just like thinking maybe we just make pasta or we'll go to Gilt Bar um early and like maybe grab a drink or even grab an early dinner i don't know you guys i'm just like i think my biggest thing with new year's is i just like to be able to like do my intention setting and like go to bed moderately early so that i can have like a really grounded day on new year's day also i've been cleaning my brushes like once a month i'll put them in apple cider vinegar water and i did my deep clean today so i was like you know what start the New Year out fresh with my brushes. So I cleaned them and every time I clean them, they literally just like run through my hair so much smoother. It's so bizarre. Um, but this is the best brush ever, you guys. It's the, now it has some hair in it because I just brushed, but it's the Mason Pearson. Um, what's it called? This is the popular nylon and bristle one and it's so good and i've had it since like sixth grade um i love mason pearson when my hair's dry and then when my hair's wet i use the wet brush but anyways so i'm gonna put a little bit of oil just a little of the shu mara hair oil on the ends of my hair just because i feel like getting a little bit dry um but anyways blake and i are gonna we're watching that show the recruit on netflix so i think we're gonna watch a little bit of our show and then 
head to bed. I finished my last book, so I need to start a new one, but I don't know what vibe I'm going for. Hello, you guys. We just got back from a little Trader Joe's action. Um, I had such a good morning. Blake and I went to walk home and then Whole Foods, and then I went to my New Year's intention setting class with Kate, which was phenomenal. It was literally so good. Also, ignore the headband. I honestly just wanted my hair out of my face. Um, not usually really a headband curly, but I am today. Um, our intention class was amazing. Hannah taught it at Yoga 2.0 and it was just like so good. It was so good. It was, um, the intention part was great. The flow was great. She started out with like, we wrote down what we want to leave in this year. And then we all folded it up and put it in the back of the room, like behind us. And then we did um we wrote like what we wanted to call in and we put that right in front of us for our practice and it was just such a great flow it was amazing oh i need to take some of this this is fulvic acid do you want to show that blake has been obsessed with getting backpacks he's gotten two backpacks and he's gonna pick one one is to me and one is briggs and riley but i have a trader joe's haul for you guys um the first thing is this salad, this is just romaine. It's really good from Trader Joe's. It's like an organic, crunchy romaine. Got two apples. Honey crisp. Actually, I think I got three. There should be another one. Another one. And then I got some garlic and shallot for tonight's pasta. And then. I bought a white wine. I didn't want anything too um, like expensive because I'm just gonna cook with it and a lot of the flavors come out of wine when you cook with it anyways. So this is just a Chardonnay. The brand is Bread and Butter and honestly on Wine Critic it had like 4.4 4. 4 stars, which is really good for a cheap bottle. Um, so yeah. And then I got some broccoli, some cauliflower because the stores are gonna be closed tomorrow and I don't know what we're gonna wanna make. So I just got all the veggies and then some peanut butter because I'm gonna make my New Year's Kiss cookies, which are basically like the peanut butter blossom cookies, but I call them New Year's Kiss cookies and I make them on New Year's. And then the final thing, which is the cutest. Like, do you need this? Receipt? Uh, uh, um is these little napkins. Are you kidding? They're absolutely adorable. They were a set of four for like, how much were they? $10 for four? Is it 10? I don't know. It was so cheap. And they're absolutely adorable. I'm obsessed. So, yay. I love napkins for dinner. Like they're just the best. Like I do not like using like paper towels or not reusable napkins. I just, I love a good reusable napkin for dinner. So. We got those. And then we went to Target because Blake and I are gonna do vision boards. And so we picked up, we didn't have any um, poster board, which actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise because we ended up getting this, which is just a bulletin board. And we're gonna do, since we're a couple, each get a side of it, since like our goals are separate, but together, you know? Just gotta make a metaphor out of it, always. So I picked this up. Someone's calling you. Who? Through and through. Hello. This is Mary. Yeah. Um, I could come. Well, I'm coming with my. Um, can I just stick with 315? Yeah, she's coming at 3:30, so she was just gonna come with me at 3:15. Kate. Yeah, for Kate. Okay, I'll see you then. Thanks, bye. That was my nail salon. Sorry. Um, this is hard, they look pretty similar. Okay, I like the one on the left better. Which one's the left? The one on your right. This one? Yeah. Do you like it better? Yeah, I think so. Which one is that? It's too many. Anyways, so we got this bulletin board and then we got tax and we're both making Pinterest boards. I don't know if Blake's making a Pinterest board. I'm making a Pinterest board. Blake's 
finding photos and then putting them in whatever his Photoshop thing is. And then we're just gonna bullet pin them on and we're gonna keep these. And we're also gonna make little goals. We're gonna write them and put them on as well. So I'm so excited about this project. Um, this is like the shit I love to do on, on New Year's. Um, and then I got little packs for them. So that's what we got. And I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna start making our fresh pasta for tonight. And yeah. In the making, 2023, here we come. I know, we're going somewhere warm. Um, I just got home from getting my nails done. I got my classic. Um, well, it looks white, but it's just the desert palm. And I just got these shoesies that I have to show you guys. But we have an early reservation that Blake just snagged, so I have like a 20 minute turnaround, probably more like 15. Um, but look at how gorgeous these shoes are by Gio Borghini. I'm obsessed. And they fit perfectly. Um, size down if you buy them. But, anyways, they're gorgeous. And I just said to Blake, don't these look like the perfect shoes to wear after getting engaged? And he said, yeah, but you can't get engaged when it's cold out. I said, yeah, that's right. Blake well, said we might get a little bit of And I really think it's hard. You really have. I don't know, like, why I'm so excited about that. So, part of me is, like, maybe I just need to, like, let live, let God, you know? Just, like, relax a little bit. But, so, I got these. And then, my sweet friend, Megan, Megan Carp on Instagram, if you guys follow her. She messaged me and sent me this sweater. And, oh shit, I don't want to be stupid right now and ruin my nails. And it was so, like, such a sweet gesture. And I need to send her a thank you out. So I need to go to Trader Joe's. Oh shoot. I need to go to Trader Joe's. Note. Like I need to keep this box because Megan. Oh my God, she wrote me a card too. Gosh, she's the best. Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah, I need to send her a little something, something. But it's this gorgeous thin sweater that she got and the fit was off for her. So she was like, <laughs> but it's so soft and gorgeous. So I'm gonna wear it tonight. Okay, th since we got in so early, we're going for just an aperitivo. Um, and then we're gonna come home and make a steak dinner because I forgot to make pasta today. So that's cool. Um, well, I didn't forget, I just didn't have time. But anyways, uh, quick outfit. I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave to go. Um, the row, the row. Crush Cashmere. Kate Mason Margalia, or how freaky you say it. Bye. I'm going for like undone Carolyn Bissette vibes um, because I didn't have time to get ready. I know. I, I just made homemade pasta. I think it turned out good. So, evening, you guys. Happy New Year. Um, I haven't vlogged at all today, but. It is New Year's Day and it's the end of the day. <laughs> it's currently like 8, 10 p.m. Um, and we had such a nice day. I have a bruise. Oh. I woke up and then met or went to lock one with Blake, got a coffee and then met Kate, walked back to lock one with her so she could get a coffee and then I um, just did some like random work here. And then one of my friends from college came over for a little bit because she was in town. So I just talked to her for a little bit. I made homemade pasta as you guys saw. And then I just showered and now we're chilling. Um, it was just like a nice day. I feel like I was with friends most of the day so that's why I didn't really vlog. But 
Blake and I last night. I need to see the last time I So I told you we were gonna go to Gilt Bar. So we went to Gilt Bar for an aperitivo and it was amazing. I'm not even kidding you. It was so good. And then we came home and like hung out for a little bit and then made like a later dinner. But, um, cause we weren't like insanely hungry from Gilt Bar, but we were like, we should probably eat some more than like what we had. And it's like, I feel like we normally eat late. So if we eat at like 5 p.m., we're gonna need another little something, something. Um, but at Gilt Bar, we got the, um, burrata and then the bone marrow and both were just like phenomenal with their house made um sourdough the burrata they fl fly in twice a week from italy and it was so good and then they had these like jarred tomatoes with it so they were like fresh summer tomatoes that obviously they jarred and oh, it was just like so delicious but anyways um we were in bed by like 10 p.m and we went over our vision boards and blake said that he would prefer that i don't share his vision board with anyone which I really respect, in all honesty. Because I was like gonna show everyone on the vlog. And <laughs> be like, oh look, at Blake and I did this vision board. But um, it was kind of fun to just like go through them and like point out each photo and like explain what we meant by it and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here um, because I wanna edit it tomorrow and get it up for you guys. And then I'll probably start a week in my life. Even though tomorrow, is monday i just feel like this has been like the longest weekend ever um and i'm kind of getting ready to go back to work like i'm kind of ready so yeah tomorrow we'll just be like kind of resetting getting back into the swing of things and i'll make a vlog of that too but yeah i love you guys um i'm grateful for each and every one of you and cheers to 2023 baby okay bye